So right now there is a pile of Bruno Clairs in front of this room. This is the gonna be the obsolete sound lab. It's been meaning to be worked on for quite a while now, but um finally it's time to get going. So here's a pile of uh Bruno Clairs. We're currently diagnosing them. We've got hack modular, uh Mitch over here, and he is Hello. working on one. This one might there's some there's some life there's in it. There's something in there. Is it the concrete? I think that's coming from the valve. I think we, we're yeah. hearing it from the... So there's a problem this here. This needs a bit of work, yeah. There's a little bit of a work, but we're going to be working through them and putting them on the working pile. This, which one's working down here? So, oh, we've got bits of masking tape. So we've got... Uh, both of them are working, I think. Frequency not changing. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Frequency, that's the, the variable capacitor isn't working or something. And then that one's working, that but one's it working. hasn't got a front case. Take and we've got this one. We fixed this one in the last uh, electronics workshop, right? Yeah. You you recapped this, didn't you? Yeah, and then uh, it needed a new valve as well. Yeah, it was uh, EL84 from the power amp uh -huh. going to the output of these. But now this is working, so we'll see you in a little bit and we can tell you what's wrong with all of these ones. Woo! So there's a few things. This is um, a 1022, is it? 1022, I think, yeah. And it was working and then it stopped working. <clears throat> we noticed that this was loose. So the first thing to do is that might have shorted. Ooh, oh, it might have shorted. So I'm going to swap it out, see if it's buggered, and then go from there. All those jobs. So it is a Toroto. Pulled it out of there. It looked loose on the other one. So this one's one that doesn't work. So if it if it if it is this, then I'll find a replacement for this one and get that one working in a little bit. But for this one, this one's the one we're going to try and roll with. But we just don't know yet. So Torota, it might just be adjustable capacitors, but here's hoping that that might be the issue. This one's different. It's got actually, it's got, what, what the heck? Oh shit. What the heck <laughs> is all of this? Section. It's got a motorized, it's got a motor oh, on it. That's cool. Oh, oh there's a motor. It does the automatic scanning, does it? Well, there's a motor on it. Okay. Oh, well this oh. one's, this one's completely different. Okay. This might be why it wasn't tuning. The, the, it might not be the knob might not even be engaged because it's being driven by it and, they, and maybe the relays have gone funny because maybe they're not switching over from that from the big knob to the what looks to be a smaller version so this one's a modified add-on one oh and then have a look at this this one's different the problem with this is um frequency is not changing so it was working, so we'll put the, that capacitor back in, or whatever it is, and then, yeah, figure, <laughs> figure out, out what, what this is. what this is, or maybe it needs to be removed or something. Interesting. Something we're at Electronics Club, and we're sat over here with um, Simon, who's the EEPROM 9. I'm doing the uh, reefer caps on all these uh, BBCs that I uh, got working last time I was here, which turned out the issues were quite minor on them. But now it's just a case of recapping them? Yeah, it's just a case of the reefers, the, the usual suspects. And I discovered this in the master. So if oh. you've got a BBC master, check for batteries because they might bite you in the arse otherwise. Oh, I'll go and have a look at, do, do you reckon we'll need some double A's? Uh, Rechargeable exactly ones as well. For now, I'm just going to delete them and put the battery pack back in, but <laughs> yeah. these nasty, leaky, horrible, give you cancer things can come out. Oh, hey, good. they're that old, they have RS components on them. Oh, cool, cool. Well, and then there's also uh, SD card yes. interfaces that if there's time, you might have a look at those. But anyway, I'll see you in a moment, yeah. Simon. We've so, got Tom here, and um, this is a machine that you built recently, isn't it? Right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so it's like for switching um, like uh, guitar effects pedals in and out. So you, like the signal goes in here, comes out of one, goes into a pedal, comes out, goes back in, etc., etc. And like, you can uh, you can like plug MIDI in and uh, Select patches and all that. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. But it works now it because. It worked until I got here. They kindly had me sorted out. Well, yeah, thanks to thanks to Chris and us, we're just looking. It was a uh, underpowered by the power supply yep. and a broken wire. But then the rest of it, it was just it was really well designed, though. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, and um, I'm quite happy with it. you'll be doing uh, you, there'll be information up about this uh, effects pedal looper. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where would they? Where would it be? If... Uh, well, I will eventually make a website for it. Um, oh, cool, cool. But, uh, I haven't got anything yet. Split roast. <laughs> split roast. Well, keep an eye out for split roast. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and. Oh, and that's just a tube streamer, which 
is working now as well. It is also working now. Yeah, and you can like switch, uh, like you can change if it does LED clipping or diode clipping. Nice. Uh, it's nice. got an obnoxious blue LED. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you can't beat those because you can see them on the ceiling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ash, how are you doing? Good. So you're in the organ room. What are you working on then? Working on this flip dot display again. Got the switch has been changed out for rotary encoders by you. Yes. And now we're having issues where it doesn't want to change every time you rotate the knob yeah Which... but the odd thing is is every rotation on the knob is being picked up by the serial monitor isn't that correct yeah. oh and it's painting it all black that's when you're drawing it black isn't it yeah so it's covering it all but it's not updating in time on the actual board so either a maybe it's a hard, hardware speed issue with the i don't i just feel the fun of being a not likely because it's all made with logic circuitry so it'd be quite quick wouldn't it should be. Could, potentially just an issue with the code spitting out fast enough to the display. Hmm. Yeah. Tough. Well, hopefully we'll we'll have a, get that sorted as well. Fingers crossed. Ah, uh, what are you putting together? Oh yeah. <laughs> Funny to see you here. Look, I'm making for you. You're right. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we're just doing. Um, <coughs> what is this? Best way to describe this. This is based on an idea from the 1960s that Daphne Oren came up with, that from a you know, radiophonic workshop. And uh, what it does, it's got these photosensors on it, and they go in front of the oscilloscope screen. And then you get a little mask there, so like a jagged waveform shape, and then it, it feeds back between the screen and uh, traces the shape, and you run that at audio rate. It makes a makes a waveform. So it's a flicking yeah. fruit. Are those not LEDs? Then they're photosensors. They're photosensors, photo transistors. Yeah. Right. Oh, that sounded expensive. Well, nobody screamed at you. Yeah. Yeah. So not far, not far off now. Getting it running. I just transferred this from the ah breadboard. from a breadboard. Yeah. Well, we'll see that in a couple in a little mo, won't we? If it's if, if it's, it's working. working. Yeah. If fingers crossed. And then after that, I'll ask you about how we've gone on with the um with the figuring out, and yeah. then we can have a look at the no life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you in a sec, mate. So we've got the C15Y made in USSR, and uh, I think we're just about to take the back off to see what is on the inside. With any luck. Oh, it's all just going to slide out. It. I think the whole the whole back thing is going to come off. It. Oh, you see? Okay. Yeah. You need a hand. Hang on. Is it? I got If we get hold this and then you pull the cream thing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got a part. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Ah, so it's been stored for a little while, but. Yeah. Well, more, more, more information on this one to come. It looks like it has been stored quite a bit. That's uh, that's definitely not an original plug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still don't take G's in the US. Yeah. It works now, it's done, right? Kind of works, kind of works. It's like it's getting there. It's a work in progress, yeah. But uh, if we turn the light off, oh, well, 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 we might need a bit of sound. So, so first off, what's, what's... So what it's doing, right, is you've got on here these photo scanners, and that's looking at the oscilloscope screen. And when it can't see the light on this screen, this green light, it tells the the dot on the screen to go up and then when it goes over this mask and it can see it it tells the dot to go down and it does it really really fast and then so it zigzags all along this line here and then if you do it fast enough and you filter out those zigzags then you can make it into a audio audio waveform yeah nice well we'll turn it off <laughs> <laughs> and of course it doesn't work Oh, but that's, I think that's the oscilloscope's fault, isn't it? Oh, oh, it's coming back. So that's the vague idea, and it needs a lot of refinement. Change the pitch yeah. on there. Where's the pitch change? Wow. Wow. And if I put my hand in the front of it, does that yeah. mess with the... Whoa! Yeah, so you can, you can touch the waveform. <laughs> change the sound of it. Yeah. That's the best.
amazing. And then we turn. doing a video on this soon aren't you yeah cool on my channel uh, hack modular on youtube and uh, you can find me on instagram and stuff yeah. and i make other modules as well make other re modules like this clicky relay module and uh you know vcos and uh, all sorts of bonkers stuff <laughs> what's we we also managed to get didn't you these work one two three four five six signal generators seven mate Seven. Seven. I was carrying back, and then there's these that aren't working. These yeah, are the signal generators. Yeah, they need a little bit of love and care. We got descriptions on them. So there's no sound. No, this one's weird because we think it is working, but it's actually got a motor on it. Yeah, it's very strange. Actually, might be pretty cool. Meet, meter switch dodgy. Oscillator working, but faint output. Oh no, no label on that one. That's, that's just right. no life at all. Oh, no yeah, life on those two, so. Nothing at all, so. We'll have a look at those at another point, but yeah. Let's, uh, should we show people? I'll go and get them. 